just the word engineer to me just speaks of excellence. It speaks of, of challenges. It speaks of ability. It speaks of being, uh, being smart. And so every time I hear that term, whether it's something somebody else applies to me, whether I apply to myself, if somebody asks what I do, I feel tremendous pride. Uh, the idea of being an engineer, of being a professional. I did not come from a family of engineers or even people with college degrees. Uh, my father was an actual, just a, a, a laborer, but a very, very dedicated, uh, hard worker. And for some reason, this was in the 19, early 1950s and 19, uh, early 1960s, uh, technology uh, just really sort of inspired me. Sputnik had occurred. Uh, the world, certainly our country, was, was responding to what was happening in particularly the Soviet Union. Uh, the space programs were just beginning. And I was just inspired by that. But I just had this desire to, to learn things and to put things together and figure out how they work. And I found when I got into high school uh, with the ease of doing math, and then eventually uh, when I went to university, in, in my case, I turned down an appointment to the Air Force Academy, United States Air Force Academy, and stayed locally here in my hometown, Washington, D.C. I went to Howard University, historic uh, black college, and I majored in engineering, the School of Engineering. And I was just so inspiring to me uh, to be around, particularly in my case, uh, black engineers. I never knew there were such things. Uh, you certainly didn't see it in television and in the early 60s and the late 50s. And so seeing people who looked like me, but who were technical uh, and were scientists and engineers really just inspired me uh, to continue. When I was a junior uh, mechanical engineering major at Howard University, we had a professor, a new professor at the time at Howard University, who came from the Department of the Bureau of Standards. He was a nuclear engineer, and Dr. George Ferguson was his name. And somehow he was able to get the National Bureau of Standards to actually donate a training nuclear reactor. Uh, uh, to, to Howard University. Now, Howard in Washington, D.C., we had Maryland University nearby, Kathy University in the city, uh, George Washington University, Georgetown University, uh, and a couple of other universities in the area, all of whom had nuclear engineering programs, but we at Howard were the only ones that had a training nuclear reactor. And so I had the opportunity to take nuclear engineering as part of my mechanical engineering background and Dr. Ferguson just instilled professionalism in each one of us who were part of his program. One of the things he did that really shaped my experience, when he gave a test, when he gave a grade for homework, everything had to be perfect. You could not get the right answer, but have set the problem up wrong. You couldn't set the problem up right, and, but have the wrong answer. If everything wasn't perfect, you got a zero. And what he was trying to instill in us was that as engineers, and particularly as minority engineers, we had to do everything perfectly and to be perfect. And that discipline was instilled to me very early uh, by Dr. Ferguson in my junior and senior year. And it really has carried over into everything I've tried to do in my engineering experiences, both in the Air Force and subsequent to my retirement from the Air Force. You hear people saying they're a doctor or they're a lawyer and they're very proud of it. I feel the same way when somebody asks and I say that I am an engineer. Uh, it's like I have arrived, and I don't mean that in the pejorative sense, if you will, but I feel tremendous pride in it. And it also, to me, it instills the idea of wanting to know how things work or wanting to and being willing to explain to people uh, how things work. I relish the idea that I can explain things from the perspective of being an engineer. Most people don't even know what the National Academy of Engineers 
really is. Uh, and they don't know that there are not that many people who are part of it. When you think of all the people who are uh, categorized as engineers or call themselves engineers, uh, it takes a special uh, background, special experiences. It takes some mentors, if you will, uh, and support to be even nominated and obviously to be selected to be a member of the Academy. So I feel uh, tremendous pride in that. And I think all the time uh, about uh, the pride I feel, but I also feel that it's important to make sure that the best of the best gets to get this opportunity. And if there are things that I can do to help others to get into, or at least particularly recognized by the Academy, I think it's my uh, role to try to do that.